What is up guys? This is the Drop Shipping Hacker here and I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the startup cost required with starting a drop shipping business. So in today's video, I've put together a couple items that you're gonna need to get started with a drop shipping business and be sure to stick around for the entire video because I am gonna share with you three apps that I highly recommend that you incorporate with your e-commerce website. So with that said, let's get into it. So it is true that with drop shipping, there is a low barrier to entry and it does not require any upfront inventory on your part since you are going to be selling items through your e-commerce platform from other drop shippers such as AliExpress. So when the customer purchases a product from your store, you're gonna fulfill that order through the drop shipper who's then going to ship that item back to your customer. So there is no money that you need to spend on upfront inventory, but I'm gonna go over the items that you're gonna to need to spend a little bit of money. And guys, when I say a little bit of money, I mean you can get a drop shipping business up and running for as little as $200 per month. So the very first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a platform to sell your products on, and I highly recommend Shopify. It's a really great and reputable platform to get started. It's very, very easy for beginners and it's a subscription-based platform, so it is going to cost you $29 per month. Now, if you're interested in starting a free 14-day trial with Shopify, I'll drop a link in the video description below so you can get started with that right away. Um, so as you can see, the basic Shopify monthly subscription is $29, and it goes up to $79 and all the way up to Advanced Shopify for $299. Now, as a beginner, this $29 per month subscription is plenty. So you'll be able to get started and get an entire Shopify business going with just $29 per month. So on top of that, I'm going to suggest that you get a domain name. You can get a domain name for your Shopify store through GoDaddy or Namecheap, and you can get that for probably around $10 per month. Um, I recommend this because Shopify here starts you off with a mystore.myshopify.com URL. So to make your store brandable and professional, I highly re recommend you direct, uh, direct it to a domain name. So let's get into the next item. I recommend that you get Spin a Sale interactive email pop-up. You can get that through the Shopify app store and that's gonna cost you $4.99 per month. This is a great way for you guys to capture emails from your customers. That way you can send them coupons and discounts in the future to get them coming back to your store. So this is gonna be a great way to increase your conversion rates. Again, this is not something that's required for your Shopify store. You can completely run this Shopify store with Shopify for $29 per month without these apps. But if you really want to increase conversion rates, I highly recommend that you install these apps. So spin a sale, $4.99 per month, and you get a free 10-day trial to test it out. The second app that I recommend is Product Upsell. And Product Upsell basically lets you cross-sell and upsell products within your store. Um, I highly recommend this because you don't want to leave money on the table. So this is gonna be a way to sort of upsell more products to your existing or current customers. It's a really uh, highly effective way that I've been able to generate more uh, sales this way from my customers. And the pricing really depends on how many views you get. So starting off, you can get 200 views for $9.99 per month. So I absolutely recommend this if you're serious with your Shopify drop shipping business. And then the last and final app that I recommend is the Hurify Countdown Timer. You can get this app for $6.99 per month. What this is gonna do is gonna drive your customers to purchase due to, let's say maybe a sales is going to end within you know, a few hours. So it's really gonna get into the fear factor of the scarcity that they're gonna miss out on a deal and people don't want to miss out on deals. So this is another great way to 
boost your conversion rates. I've really found this to be very helpful with all of my Shopify stores. So I absolutely do recommend you guys installing this. Again, it's not necessary, but if you want to get the extra percentage of conversions, this is a great way to do it. And the final expense that a lot of people don't really talk about when it comes to a drop shipping business is marketing. Uh, you're gonna want to test your products. And the way that you're gonna do that is by running ads to your products. And for beginners, I recommend Facebook. And you can do this through Business Manager. It's a very simple platform where you can customize your audiences. You can make lookalike audiences. For example, if you have a dog store, um, you can direct your marketing to specific uh, let's say you find a dog lovers group on Facebook, or perhaps you can figure out that most dog lovers are between the ages of 20 and 55. I mean, you can really tailor your audience and really customize it and target it so you can get the right ads in front of the right people. So how much do you need to spend for a business manager? I recommend at the very least doing $5 a day to te really test your ads. Obviously, the more money you spend on these ads, the better. The, the more data you're gonna generate to see which ads are gonna become profitable for you. So I recommend setting aside at least $5 per day. So there you have it. Those are the items that are the basis to your Shopify drop shipping store. You have the Shopify subscription for $29. You've got the spin a sale uh, Shopify app for $4.99. You've got the product upsell for $9.99. You've got the Herify countdown timer for $6.99. And then you've got your minimum Facebook ads budget set at $5 per day. So that brings you roughly to around $200 per month, which is consider considerably cheap for running a legitimate business. And guys, at $200 per month, there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to see sales as long as you're consistent with what you're doing. So guys, if you want specific training on how to get your first sale within the first month, I do have a free ebook out there. It's got the six step formula for creating and launching your Shopify business. You can get that by going to www.thedropshippinghacker.com or by clicking the link in the video description below. And you if you haven't already signed up for Shopify, try out the 14-day free trial. I have a link for that also in the video description below. Guys, if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. Comment below if you have any questions. Be sure to share this video with your friends. And if there's any topics that you'd like me to cover in the future, drop a comment below and I'll try and get a video out on that. Um, but that is it for today's video, guys. So I will see you in the next video.